using Patterning 3 inside Ableton Live. With version 3.1, Patterning now runs on Mac OS with Apple Silicon Macs, allowing it to work as an audio unit plugin inside Ableton Live and other compatible DAWs. Let's go over the basics of using the plugin in Ableton and some of the new workflow features that it makes possible. Open up the Plugins tab from the browser in Ableton. You'll see plugins organized by company. Look for Olympia Noise Co. and select Patterning 3. If you don't see it listed, you may need to rescan your plugins from the Ableton Live Settings Plugins screen. Because Patterning works as an instrument plugin, accepting MIDI input and outputting audio, it will be added to a MIDI track. Drag the Patterning 3 plugin into a MIDI track. You can now use Patterning inside Ableton to make beats. Press play in Ableton and it will follow the transport. There are a couple of helpful workflows inside Ableton and other DAWs that are worth pointing out. In Patterning 3.1, most of the instrument and effects parameters are available to the audio unit. There are literally hundreds of AU parameters from sampler playback controls, envelopes, filters, effects, and more. We can use these AU parameters to automate patterning from the host. To record automation, make sure that automation arm is enabled. From there, whenever you are recording in Ableton, parameter changes inside patterning will be written to an automation lane on the host track. Hit record in Ableton, then move one of the parameters, for example, the course tuning. Changes made in patterning will be recorded to Ableton as an automation lane. And on playback, the changes will be sent back to patterning. You can then edit the automation curve using all the great editing tools that Ableton has. AU Multi-Out. The patterning audio unit supports multiple audio outputs, letting you route individual tracks or groups of tracks to their own audio tracks in Ableton for mixing. First, create a new audio track in Ableton. Set audio from to patterning three, then choose an external output of patterning. We'll choose external output one. Set the track monitor to in so that we can listen to audio coming into the track without needing to record it. In patterning, we'll route our snare track to this external output. From the main file dropdown, choose AU multi-out routing. The AU multi-out screen displays a matrix for assigning patterning tracks to any or all of the 10 external outputs or the main patterning output. The first column is main. Any tracks routed to main will go through the effects channel and be routed to the regular stereo output of the track that patterning is loaded into. The other 10 tracks are external outputs. Our snare is on track two, so we'll assign that to external output one. We'll also remove it from the main output. In many cases, it's recommended that you do not use the main out and an external output for the same sound. This is because the EQ and distortion on the main output can introduce phase shifting when the two signals are combined. Now when we hit play, we'll hear the snare routed to our new track in Ableton. We can add effects here and mix it like any other track in Ableton. You can also record this track directly if you want to make a bounce of it for further manipulation. Simply hit record enable on the track and record to bounce it. MIDI export. Ableton does not support MIDI output via the audio unit like some other DAWs do. However, you can still get the MIDI data from patterning in a couple of ways. Navigate to a track's MIDI output settings. At the bottom, you will see drag to export a MIDI file. Drag from there to an empty MIDI clip or track to create a MIDI file for Ableton. You can also drag this to the finder if you want a MIDI file for another application. If you'd like the MIDI output of an entire pattern rather than just a single track, use the export audio in MIDI from the main file menu to bring up the export window. Choose your file type MIDI and master track. After export completes, you can drag this file or files to your MIDI tracks or navigate to the finder to access them. Similarly, you can export audio from patterning to Ableton and drag the exported audio files into Ableton for further processing. 
All right, leave your questions in the comments and subscribe if you want more patterning tutorials and tips.